Got up and did my workout this morning, and when I get home, I have to come in my room, and I have to hide from my husband, my dog, and my kids so that I can sit down and tell you guys my thoughts, because I don't know, I feel like this is important information, and I think that it's like a fun story for you guys to follow along with, and I think you can really learn something, at least I have, so I'll tell you what I've learned, and I'll just share that with you. So. If you guys have been watching, you know the first day that I went to class, I walked in and I perceived, I thought, that I was looking at everyone and they just like, well, I mean it happened, but I made up a story to go along with it in my mind. Everyone just looked over at me, there was no room for me, and I just, I felt awful. I hated it. It was my first time, I was nervous, and I just assumed that everyone was just like, mm, mm. But in reality, okay, so we'll get back to this. So then... The next time I went, um, the next couple of times I went to class, um, I shared with you guys that someone had talked to me or something. It's like even hard for me to remember. <laughs> anyway, I had talked with someone and it was really fun. Like I was like, oh cool, like I kind of made a little friend. Well, today I walked in and me and this girl just started talking and it was to the point where the teacher was like, okay, it's like time to the teacher. The instructor was like, okay, it's time for class to start. And we didn't want to stop talking. And it was really fun. And I was thinking about that the whole time when I was working out. Um, I just thought, you know, what if I wouldn't have come back when, um, I'm hearing all my kids other. <laughs> what if I wouldn't have come back? Wouldn't that have been so sad and dumb? Because I had actually, once I was talking to this one girl, there was this other girl on the other side of me and we were all kind of talking. And I just thought, what if I wouldn't have come back? Was it just a minute, go out and close the door. I know that was dramatic, but I literally, it's so hard for me to form my thoughts that it's like I literally come in, close the door to just like try and like get my thoughts out there or they're just like gone in the wind. I don't know if that's a me thing or what. Anyway, so, <clears throat> See, it's like I have no idea what I was just talking about. None. No clue what I was just talking about. Anyway, it would, I had a point. There was something else I was going to say, and now I'm like irritated that I can't remember. Ugh. Here's my other thought besides that. There was something I was going to like tie that into, but I don't remember. So I have this issue in my life that has occurred. It's what's done is done. There's nothing that I can do to fix it. I'm not happy with it. And... But I still have to navigate my way through it. And I went to bed last night just really beside myself. Just feeling like, how am I supposed to correct anything that has happened? How am I supposed to even like move forward? What am I supposed to do? I mean, I was, I was really discouraged. And not to say that I'm not anymore, but going and working out, I didn't think about it at all because I was so focused on my body and what I was doing and working out. I was sweating hard today. It was so hard today, but I did it. I finished the workout and on the drive home, I don't know why, but for some reason my issue didn't seem so daunting. The issue hasn't changed. No circumstances have changed, but I just felt like I could get through it a little bit better. And so I, I really was just in my mind I was thinking I'm so glad that I came and I want to convey to people that are watching me how important it is to do something to clear your mind of just like the day-to-day -day life and working out is a really good one and that's coming from someone that dreads working out that cries at the thought of working out I hate it more than anything but I'm really enjoying the class that I'm going to and driving home watching the sky change to a brighter shade was glorious so if you can I think you need to like move your body move your mind and just I don't know. I know that working out has helped me to grow as a person. I really do believe that and if, oh, I think what I was going to say was that we make up these stories in our minds and we assume that we know what people are thinking and that's what I do heavily. I assume what people are going to feel about something. I assume I know what people are going to think about something and we can't do that. It's not our responsibility to know how other people are going to react to things. 
and we make up these stories in our minds and I'm working really hard at not doing that because no one in that class was thinking anything when I walked in. They themselves were probably nervous being there. They themselves were probably new and I just didn't know that. So don't make stories up in your mind about issues that are going on or just like circumstances that are going on around you. There was no issue. It was just me walking into class. There was nothing. And I guarantee if I were to tell that to my class, everyone would be like, no, there's nothing going on. We just literally looked over at you and looked away because they didn't cater to me because I, it was, it was my insecurities. It was my insecurities. So I'm going to leave that there with you and hopefully you guys have a good day. At the end of class, our teacher, my gosh, we're my second grade, our instructor um, had us lay on the floor, so maybe you guys can do this, close your eyes. And she came up with some words and she said, um, have these words at the forefront of your mind so that when you have negativity coming into your mind, you can replace those negative thoughts or bad self-talk or um, just plain negativity with, and then she just made up some words on the spot and she said freedom, um, that was the only one I can really remember, <laughs> perseverance, was it, yeah, perseverance, passion, and freedom is what she said, so I'll leave that with you guys and I'll see you in my next video, bye guys.